Despite the West's worries of China presence in Africa, why is Nigeria turning its back on the West? The answer lies in China bold move and the US misstep. You won't believe how bad the Nigeria and the West relationship has gotten to these days. Let's start with the big picture. Nigeria is one of the African's most important countries, which has become a central point in the global politics. Nigeria is rich in resources like crude oil, gas, uranium, and others. The Nigerian market is large because of its large population on the continent. These factors are some of the reasons why Nigeria is attracting attention from all over the world. Historically, the West, led by the US, was the dominant partner in Africa. But things are changing and very fast. Why the US still look at Africa and Nigeria through the lens of problem to be solved? China is approaching the continent differently. It focuses on opportunity through its Belt and Road Initiative. China has extended its hands to about 49 out of the 54 African countries. This country includes Nigeria, which are now seeing the benefits in the form of road, railway, hospital, and other key infrastructure projects that has been both the local economy. But how did China win over Nigeria so easily? And what exactly did the US do to push Nigeria away? That's what we're about to uncover in this video. China influence in Nigeria and across Africa is rooted in something tangible, infrastructure. China has built over 100,000 kilometers of road and about 10,000 kilometers of railway across Africa. In Nigeria alone, projects like Lagos Red Line Rail, the Zagur Hydropower Project and the Lekki Deep Seaport have transformed how people move and do businesses. These projects are not just for show, they are creating real economic growth and jobs for the Nigerians. But while China has been busy building, the US has been lecturing. Instead of investing in the development of Nigeria, the US often treats the country as part of a larger African problem that needs to be fixed. This is an outdated view that has left many African countries frustrated. One key example is the US-Africa summit that often focus on American interests rather than the African need, leading the African leaders and the people with the feeling of unheard. The United States must understand that Africans are not going to take it anymore. If you don't treat the Africans fairly, the United States is going to see itself slowly losing ground to China, to Russia, to all other nations, because without respecting the Africans, without treating the Africans as equal, without understanding that exploitation and abuse of Africa simply cannot continue. This is where China shines. China treats African nations, including Nigeria, as equal partners. They engage each African country individually, recognizing their unique needs. This differs from the US one size fits all approach which often fails to respect Nigeria and other African countries' sovereignty. Because of this, 70% of African youth, including many in Nigeria, view China as a key partner for their country's future. It isn't about sentiment, the numbers don't lie. China trade with Africa has reached a staggering figure of about 261 billion, far, far outpacing the US. By focusing on development and partnership, China has gained a staggering foothold that the West, led by the US, has missed. Still, there are some form of criticism surrounding China's growing presence in Nigeria concerning its debt. Some worries about debt traps from the Chinese loan. Beijing may engage in what critics characterize as debt trap diplomacy, lending designed to force countries into handing over land, minerals, and strategic assets when they default on a loan. But here's an important fact. China has yet to seize any asset from any African countries that has defaulted in their loan. I mean, Chinese government. While the Nigerian government has accused the Chinese company named Zhongshang Fucheng Industrial Investment of staging a campaign to seize its assets overseas, including presidential jets, the seizure includes a newly acquired Airbus A330 or A30, 330 valued at over $100 million. So, why the US is stuck in old habits? China continue to build and engage, and Nigeria is taking notice. So, what does all this mean? Nigeria growing relationship with China represents more than just a shift in economic partnership. It's part of the larger global realignment. China, with its focus on infrastructure, investment, and respect for Africa's sovereignty, is emerging as the partner of choice for many African countries. Meanwhile, the US is struggling to maintain its influence. Stop an outdated mindset that prioritizes its own agenda over genuine partnership. As Nigeria continues to benefit from Chinese investment, it's clear that China is seen as a better partner for many African nations than the West. 
The Belt and Road Initiative isn't just about trade routes and projects, it's about long-time growth and development. I guess that's why some 7% of African youth back Chinese rule in their future. The US is facing a difficult battle to regain its foothold in Nigeria and beyond. We are now witnessing a new era of partnership in Africa, one where China is leading the way and the West is left to rethink its approach. Well, the West and the US are not ready to lose each program raw material provider anytime soon. But for now, Nigeria is turning towards the East and the West is indeed worried.